Okay, I've got a garden cart to assemble. It is called the Built Hard. I got this for low dollar on Amazon. And there it is. So this is the bed, it's plastic, it says it will hold 600 pounds, I doubt that, but anyway, it actually looks a little bigger than I thought it would be, so that's good, I don't think I would need a bigger one than this. Cool, that's good, that was one of my big concerns, the size, that looks good, that looks like the perfect size. Some people complained about the poor instructions, but then there is a very good video on YouTube that shows exactly how to do it, which is why I decided to go ahead and make the purchase. That and the fact that this costs a half as much as the Gorilla cart of the same size. These are not inflatable. I don't know if they're quite as big as I would like them to be, though. But I'm glad I don't have to fool around putting air in them. This says this wheel will hold 400 pounds. <laughs> okay. This is what it's going to look like. And it also has a dumping mechanism, so this can be a dump cart. Read, understand, and follow all instructions before using this product. Okay. So it's taken a while, but I have tight, I've put all these screws in here, and I've also attached this according, according to the instructions. The main thing is you want these bolts to be sticking out this way and not on the other side or you'll have trouble. And you want the washers underneath the bolts like this. It does take a little time to get find the holes and put them in there, but if this 
piece fits over the way it's supposed to, then the holes will line up and you will know what to do. For me to tighten the screws, the best way was to use a screwdriver and tighten this way. When you do that, you have to hold the bottom down there with a wrench. Using those two tools, it was easy for me to tighten up the screws. I put this on the bolt So you have to hold the other side. They didn't show this in the video. To put this on, slip it right there. Fits in here. It uses these bolts. And they are labeled D. Two pieces. So get the D ones. And you can use these that you have left over. So, how am I doing so far? <laughs> so far, everything is working okay. Hopefully, I'll be through pretty soon. The main thing I learned was that when you are screwing in all of these screws, you have to hold on the other side while you screw in here or vice versa. You just don't screw them in, so you got to hold on both sides which makes it a little awkward. Step four, assemble the rear axle and folding bracket. So here is the rear axle. It has two holes in it. The Front axle has one little thing sticking up on top. So this is the rear axle. We need J, K, and F. Look over here. Turn it over. J, K, and F. So we need these, these, and these. That's easy enough. So there they are. That's how it fits together. And there are the little items that I need. The screws come up that way. It looks like these are going to be the holes I'm using. How easy is that?
Oh, I just hitched myself. Ouch. Well, there they are right there. Now I just tighten. Honey, you're on camera now. You're all right. <laughs> so the remaining screws and bolts we'll use for this. This is the front axle and yoke. Put them together like this, very easy to do. So there, put them together like that. And this little piece is standing up like that. And I believe that's the way it's going to be. Step six. Well, we've got our little item right here. This is going to fit over that little thing sticking up over there. I'll show it to you. And we're going to use this, these two right here. This is going to be very easy. Take these out right there. H and I. We probably thought this was going to be difficult. No. Okay, fit that right over there. Use these. And screw that down. So here we are, we were going to put the wheels on, we will need these little pins here and these washers there. Play something easy, put the wheel on with this side uh, on the outside, that indented side is on the inside, put it on like this. A washer here and put the little pin here. Now 
you will have to bend the pin so that it stays in place. You'll have to bend that. Super. So there it is. One last job. Attach the handle here. And we've only got three things left. So let's see if they will fit together without me having to read the instructions. Well, sir, I, that ought to finish the job right there. All I got to do is tighten that screw. I'm ready to go. Nothing to it. It said it would hold 600 pounds, and I <laughs> see that it will. <laughs> Go. Here we go. Oh, Ooh, don't dump it. Okay, now we can do the dump feature. Uh oh, I'm on the wrong way for dumping. Oh. I gotta turn around. I gotta turn around. Psh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out yeah, here. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Good well, job. You see there? If it'll hold me. If it'll hold you, it might hold me. Uh, I don't think you ought to Maybe get Maybe we get in there together. <laughs> I like this cart. The only thing I don't like about it is the name. <laughs>
It's got a stupid name, so I'll be taking the name off of both sides and putting something that's a little cooler. But boy, I love this cart and the price was right. Thanks for watching.